Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to play this song called He Calls Me Friend, and this song is by City Alight. I'm going to play this song in the key of G. I'm going to go ahead and start with the intro, and I'll just go ahead and play that for you guys. So what I'm doing in my left hand is playing a low G octave all the way down here. But if you can't reach an octave, you can just play one of these notes. And then for the C chord, I'm going to bring my hands up and play a C and an E together like this. And then repeat that. And then here's the riff that I'm going to play for the intro. It's going to go like this. Now I'll play the whole intro with the multi-tracks for you. Intro, two, three, four. Verse one, what I'm gonna do is play that rift that I played up here. I'm gonna move it down a whole octave. So instead, I'm gonna play it down here, like that. Um, and then in my left hand, I'm just gonna be playing the chords like this, um, that low octave, the G, and then the C like this, and G again, and then a D octave, and G, and that C. E minor, so an E octave, then a D, and then for the C chord, instead of coming back up here and playing it like this, I'm just going to play the octave. So that last part is like this. And then D. And then in my right hand, I'm going to be playing that same riff, like I said, down here. So I'll play that with the multi-tracks. First one. So for the G, it's going to be this, and then the C like this, and then the G like this again, the same as the intro. And then for this D chord, I'm going to do an A and G together. Jacks again. First one. that I played I forgot to come up and play here and instead I just played an octave but you're supposed to come up here so don't follow what I just did so now what I'm going to do for verse two is come back up and play the rift up here again like what I did in the intro and the rift is going to be the same that I played in verse one but the last part this part and then this last part like this 
first blend, I played it like this. And instead, I'm going to do a walk down like I did in the intro, kind of. Like that. So I'll play the whole verse two with the multi tracks. Verse two. So I'm going to play each chord just once, and the chords are going to be G, and then A minor over G, then back to G, then C, and I play a B note in between these, and then back to G. I play G two times there, and then C. B right here and then played um, a D and this is an inverted D chord so back to G A minor over G and G and then C over G this is just an inverted C chord then E minor then C here I do a D sus and then D like this. So now I'll play the whole chorus with the multi tracks. Chorus. chorus and what I'm gonna do this is just repeating the intro so it's gonna be exactly like the intro I'm gonna play that with the multi tracks turn around verse one so we're gonna have that low rift down here so the turnaround right after the chorus we're doing this high rift and then we're gonna bring that whole rift down an octave down to here like we did in verse one and then the chords are gonna be all the same in my left hand so i'll play that with the multi tracks verse three again it's going to be the same as chorus one except we're going to add a little bit of rhythm um so i might play something like this this 
this um, another turnaround after the chorus, after verse 3. And this turnaround is going to go like this. It's very similar to the intro and the other turnaround, but there's this octave, there's this extra part. So I'll just play it for you. It's going to go like this. G, the low G octave, and then coming up to a B, and then a C, and just repeat that. And then the rift is kind of challenging because you're switching from just doing like this to doing octaves, and then you're quickly switching to this again. So if you can't do this octave part, you can just play like this but how it's gonna go I'll teach you how it's gonna go it's gonna do, go like this so I'll play that again but slower this time that if you can't reach that octave you can play it like this and I'll play that with the multi checks now breakdown for the first half. So for the first two lines, you're just going to be playing whole notes like this. And then right here, I'm going to play D sus and then D. And then for the second half, you're going to come in louder like this. In the left hand, I'm going to be playing a B over G. So I'm going to play a B octave and then add the G in there like this. And then C. But if you can't reach this for the B over G, you can just play B or just play G. Or just play like this. And then after this, I play that four times. And then I go to C. second half of verse 4, so like this. So now I'll play the whole verse 4 with the multi-tracks for you. Verse 4. is they do a breakdown right there so really we would just play whole notes there but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep it loud that's what we're gonna do for our version that we're gonna do so I'm just gonna play it exactly like the other chorus the chorus 2 after verse 3 so I'll play that with the multi tracks chorus Two 
last chorus is at the end, I'm gonna play, it's gonna be the same turnaround as after chorus two with this in it. And you only play it once. Um, but instead of ending on that C like this, I'm gonna go up to a D also. So it's gonna go like this. And then the rift like this. But you're only gonna play that once, like what I just did right now. So now I'll play the turnaround after that chorus. Turnaround. after the turnaround and this is going to be the same as the last chorus that we did so i'll go ahead and play that chorus turnaround not the one where I went to the D chord but just this one oh yeah I actually do go to the D chord so it's gonna go like this